Okay, continuing from where the last video left off, we're in the middle of building the reverse foot joints. Uh, we actually need one more joint on this, um, it's for the toe wiggle, but we're actually going to duplicate the ball. So I'm going to open up the uh, hypergraph, select the ball joint and do Control D to duplicate. And we don't need the ankle that it also duplicated. But I'm going to name this one J, J toe wiggle and RF for reverse foot. So now we have all these joints, we can start connecting the IK handles to them. So the first one, the uh, actually let's name these as well. This is IK handle, let's call this leg left, so it's the main leg. Then this one is IK handle, it's the ball. And this final one is IK handle, Two. That's the left leg. So to connect these up, we need to parent the the main leg one to the uh, end of the chain, the ankle. So if I uh, shift select and hit P, and then the ball one wants to be parented to the ball joint, and the toe needs to be parented to the toe wiggle. So now, if we select this, we will move our foot. Let's, uh, let's switch it to IK. So you can see it, that moves the whole foot. But if we select our toe, we can now bend the foot up on the toe. And our ball control will bend the ball. And finally, we have our little wiggle control, where we can uh, wiggle the toes if we want to. So I'm going to make this control out of a simple NURBS uh, circle. So I'm create a NURBS circle. Uh, moving it, holding down the V key, I'm going to snap it over to um, the top of the reverse foot chain. And I'm just going to quickly shape it a little better so it fits around the foot. this um, IK, IK foot control left. And because this is our control we definitely want everything zeroed out so I'm going to uh, freeze transformations on it making sure everything is on and I'm also going to delete history on it. Now to uh, connect this control, I'm just going to simply parent the reverse foot to the control. So now when we select it, our foot comes with it. Now to add the ball bend and toe, uh, toe lift and things, we're going to have to add some extra attributes. So I'm going to go uh, modify add attribute and I'm going to start with the toe lift. So if we call it uh, toe lift, and we do not need a minimum, maximum or anything, but uh, make sure it's float and hit add. Now this one can just be a direct connection. So I'm going to open up the um, connection editor, making sure that our foot controller is on the left, the toe lift. And we want to connect that to the uh, reverse foot toe joint. And if we look at that, you can see the rotate X is what lifts it. So reload right, uh, connect the toe lift to the rotate X. So now when we, we animate the toe lift, it will lift up. Now the ball bend I want to do a little differently. So I'm going to add another attribute. I'm going to call it call it ball bend, and again, no minimum or maximum, making sure it's float, and add it. But I'm going to use a set driven key. Uh, so go to animate set driven key, and open up its window, and load the foot controller as a driver, 
the ball bend and we're going to select the J ball, the reverse foot ball and load that as driven I'm just going to check let's rotate Z so rotate Z and ball bend and key it and I'm going to allow this to bend up 90 degrees so set this this is negative 90 and key that but when the ball goes below uh, below zero I'd like it to uh, lean back up on the heel so we get a nice sort of foot roll control so I'm going to set the ball bend to minus 90 and I'm going to load up the heel as the driven to check that is on the, the X so I'm going to select rotate X the ball bend and key it actually that should have been zero so I set the ball bend to zero key that and now at minus 90 I want this to be up minus 90 and key it so now the ball bend will go up on the ball or back on the heel as you can see you could add you can add a few more controls if you wanted to, but for now I'm just going to leave it as the toe lift and the ball bend. Uh, but we are going to add a foot side to side uh, control. So to do that, I'm going to add add a new attribute, and I'm going to call it foot side, and hit add. Now to do this, we're going to add a similar sort of setup to the reverse foot. But uh, I'm just going to use locators for th this time, just so I can see them. And we need uh, we need to place one either side of the foot where we want it to lift up. So I'm going to put one there, and the other one about there. We need to parent them together, and I'm going to name them. So I call this one locator lift. This is uh, the right side on the left foot. It's going to get confusing later. Uh, locator lift left on the left foot. And we want this parented to the foot control. And I'm going to now parent the uh, the reverse foot to this lift locator. So what we've done now, is as well as the reverse foot, we can also lift on its side. We're using that locator. We'll use the other locator to lift on that side. And we're going to set this up with another set driven key. So if we go to animate, uh, set driven keys, and I want the the foot control foot side as the driver and we're going to start with this one so I'm going to load that as the driven and you can see if we rotate it's rotate Z so when foot side is at zero I want rotate Z at zero so I'm going to hit the key and if we move foot side to say 90 we want this one to rotate up to negative 90 and hit key so now we want the other locator and we're going to load that as the driver sorry driven um, so it makes sure so it's uh, positive Z so we go foot side rotate Z and key it and I want this one to be negative 90 and rotate this one up to 90 and key that so now our, we should now have a foot side control which we can go side to side on the foot 
So we're nearly getting there with the IK controls, um, but lastly we need a pole vector to control the knee angle. So I'm going to import a pole vector curve, which is basically, it's a locator type shape curve. Um, but this way I can hide locators while animating and it still looks and acts like one. So I'm going to snap that over to the knee and bring it forward. I'm going to rename it. Uh, pole V left and where you pair it this is up to you personally I like it on the foot control so that when I rotate the foot the knee will follow and uh, don't forget to freeze its transformations and then I'm going to select it select the IK the main leg IK handle go constraint uh, pole vector So now I can uh, put the knee where I want it, but because it's uh, parented to the foot control, if I rotate the foot, the knee will go with it. So the last thing I want to do is add some visibility controls to the forward K and IK uh, curves. So to do that, I'm going to use a set driven key. So I'm going to open up the window and load the foot switch control as the driver. And I'm going to load the forward K hip as the driven. Now when this is in IK mode, we want this to be the, uh, the visibility turned off. So I'm going to select the visibility. Actually, we're going to turn the visibility off. Select that and key it. Then we're going to switch it to forward K mode and turn the visibility on and key that. So now when we're in IK it disappears and when we're in forward K it appears. So now we want to do the same for the IK controls. So we'll load those and switch this to uh, we're in IK. So select the visibility and the IK switch and key it. And I want to switch this to forward K. We want to hide, hide these controls and key that. So now as you switch, the visibility changes. So we're getting pretty close on this leg now. I think the last thing I want to do is clean up all the controls. So I'm going to start with the forward K. I'm just going to select all the forward K curves and being forward K I only want rotation so I'm going to select the translate scale visibility and radius right click and do lock and hide selected now if we switch this to IK I can select the IK control and we don't need the scale or the visibility so I'm going to lock and hide that and the pole vector uh, the same, scale and visibility can be locked and hidden. Now I also want to make sure no one accidentally selects these IK handles or or the locators here. So I am going to show none, show IK handles, just so I can easily select them all. And I'm going to make a display layer. I'm going to call this Don't Touch and turn off its visibility. Now I can turn show all again. But I'm actually going to add the want to add the locators and the whole actually the whole reverse foot setup to this. Well, we are just about out of time, but I also think we have everything set up. So you have your uh, foot control. You can bend on the ball and the heel. Go side to side. And of course we can switch to forward K and have a forward K leg. So until next time, thanks for watching.